Good day to you. Welcome to What's Cooking with Bueller's Fresh Foods. I'm Chef William. Today we are going to make Juicy Lucy Six Packs. They're slider sandwiches that you make six at a time. Those of you that are familiar with this, the St. Louis Juicy Lucy, the cheese is inside of the burger. We're gonna press beef out into a 13 by nine inch pan. I've already got the bottom done for you. You're gonna see how to do this in reverse when we put the top on. Got that all pressed out. Give yourself a little bit of an extra hint, a little pan spray on the bottom of there and help this lift out real easy. Now, Juicy Lucy is all about cheese. We're gonna go down first with Munster. I love the Munster, it melts so evenly, so well. You want to keep in mind as you're building this that your burger needs an edge to it and you want to keep it to the center and you're working with 12 small burgers here so you want to keep that in mind the whole time you make it. This will help you along. I'm taking American cheese, went right to the deli here at Bueller's, had them cut it about a quarter inch thick for me. We're going to lay that out in 12 pieces right on top of our Munster. And then, whoop. <laughs> Chef William should have paid attention on math day. 12, we got it. Now we're gonna go with a, a white cheddar on top of that. And now as promised that top, you've got some parchment paper or maybe back in the back part of that drawer, you might still have some wax paper back there and you take half of the beef that we've all seasoned up, and all these details are in the directions. I didn't think you needed to see me pour salt and pepper and stuff into this beef. You know how to do that. Press it out as much as you can with your fingers on the parchment. Then take that other piece of parchment and go over. Now the idea, as you're eyeballing this, is you want to go a little bigger than your pan you want to create that edge. Because what do we got in the center of this? We got a bunch of molten cheese. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Almost yes. Where's the beef? And open over. And what I, what I say in the recipe is pinch and seal. You want to kind of tuck it under. You see you have holes forming where you can see the whites of the cheese. Take a little fat spot from one of the uh, corners doctor it up, seal that all around, and kind of tuck it under. You want to give yourself a little bit of a rim, kind of like a, a meat pie or Yorkshire pudding even. All right, now we're going in the oven. Look at what you got right there, all right? I'm going to take a cut in the middle, and you'll know why in a second here. You want to hold it right over because you don't want to lose any of that cheese. Right on top of there. Oh, so good. Oh, I wish you took it. You got to smell this. All right, so once we've got that, we have a thing that we make here at the store, and I have seen it in and around the holidays called onion jam. If you're really nice to one of our associates in the chef's kitchen, they might even tell you how to make this. It's, it's basically a reduced onion, caramelized onion with brown sugar and balsamic. We're gonna put that on in dollops. Got our onion jam down. How about a Roma tomato? I'd love to tell you I picked Roma for its flavor, for its uh, distinct taste. I took the aromas because they fit perfectly in the sandwich. But they do taste good, don't they? I don't think there would have been spaghetti sauce without aromas. Aromas wasn't built in a day. All right, then we got that down. Now we're talking about our tops. I have made, and you will make, a burger sauce. Mayonnaise, crumbled bacon, and Thousand Island dressing. Dollop. This is uh, probably like one of those big hamburger chains, you know, with a kind of a Scottish name, only we've added bacon. Because bacon makes everything better, even vegetarian dishes. Okay. 
Now, take those buns, flip them up and on. Up and on. We need a big old knife. But you know what? What's going to keep this together? I have a plan. How about a gherkin pick right there? Isn't that cute? That's what pickles are before they grow up right here. Beautiful. Anything goes, too. When you got to make a lot of things at once, you got a crowd coming. I mean, think of uh, the different sliders you could do when you're doing them with these cluster rolls or brioche buns. Even the snowflake rolls work really well. Now we're just going to cut to one side right now. Because I want you to see. Look at that. I tell you. Oh, that is, that is some sexy food right there. That is the sliders. They are Juicy Lucy six pack sliders. I'm Chef William. I want you to live well and eat well and have your best day.